mag oil change tayo ng sasakyan ni Mrs. Nice. Hi guys, today mag oil change tayo ng sasakyan ni Mrs. Uh, 2003 RAV4. Uh, since pandemic, na oil change siya once or twice siguro, pero hindi pa siya do by mileage wise, so gusto yun yung tinakbo niya. Pero yung time wise, kailangan na siya. So, ito siya. For a 18 year old, medyo okay pa naman ang itsura. Samahan niyo ako. So, what do we need pag mag oil change tayo? First of all, you need your oil filter. And you need your oil. So, you need to know kung ano yung grade. Kung 520 ba siya, 020. So, that's important. Then, you need your tools. Get your wrench. Uh, you can op you could use this open or closed wrench, or you could use this socket with the appropriate socket size. And funnel, embudo, para pag fill up mo ng sa oil. You also need yung pangtanggal ng filter. I usually use this just for this wrap for kasi maraming space ya. So this channel locks works. Tapos. Para hindi ka madumihan, get some gloves. Gloves is important, you know. And next, you need your wipes. Ito yung mga lumang Clorox wipes na uh, ginamit namin, tapos pinatayu lang uli. Binabad. So, it, it, it's good, you know, for panglinis lang. And we're gonna use the jack to jack it up. Para mas mataas, hindi yung nakayoko tayo. And we need our mat or this rag. Paghihigaan natin yun. Para hindi masyadong marumihan ang likod natin. And we need the strainer. At yung lalagyan ng oil. Saan natin lalagyan yung oil natin. So this is it. So what we do is you just take out the cap put this on twist it then there this is where the used oil would go and that's it let's get started So you guys can see, I already put the jacks on both sides para mas mataas. And I also put in the mat underneath para hindi tayo madumihan. So let's go underneath. Get your wrench. Your wrench. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Righty tighty. Lefty loosey, so left side. You got that loose. Wrap it nyo tong container nyo. And you could do loosen the oil filter too. So hindi ba dudumihan yung gloves nyo or you just take out the drain plug and just that's it. And that's it. And we'll wait. Till that thing's all done. Well, let's loosen this. Well, filter now. I think it's safe to do it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but here it goes. Don't wait for that. I 
things you gotta do to double check make sure you double you don't put two washers so you check your washers and uh, also check your oil filter make sure there's no double o-ring because if that would happen that's gonna make a lot of mess and it's not good to clean up it stopped dripping so drain plug make sure your drain plug is nice and clean no debris on it put it in wipe it clean if you guys have a brake clean it's better water with soap is better too so next we just snug it not gorilla tight but I think it's 18 foot pounds So make sure before you put your new oil filter, uh, you double check if there's a left o-ring. Like for example, this red one right here. As you can see this one. Check on the oil filter housing so you won't make a mess. So now let's put the new oil filter in. I would put a one drop of used oil in the oil filter rubber seal. Alright. Snug it with your left hand as tight as you could. That's a rule of thumb. So, now just wipe the excess amount of dirt so you won't smell any burnt smell while you're driving. That's it. We're done. We're gonna take off all the stuff that we used and we'll see how it runs. So now we're done cleaning up and putting our drain plug and oil filter. We can put our oil and once we get done with our oil then you know if you're not sure how much oil you put in start up with three and a half then four and turn it on and turn it off check the dipstick now let's put in our oil After we put the right amount of oil, take out the funnel, put our oil cap back in, and start it up. Let's double check our work, make sure it's not leaking no oil. So we're good, nice and clean. Once we get our car started, we can pull our dipstick. Make sure there's a right amount of oil. So what I did is I pulled it off and I clean it up first. And I'm gonna put it back in. And see how much oil I have. So almost at the right amount I have to add a little bit more but that's it good to go so next we're gonna replace our oil not oil air filter air filter
May dragonfly pang na-stuck. Palitan natin yan. Recommendations ng air filter is things every 15,000 miles. Huwag nyo nang tipi din. Kung ayaw nyo magkaroon kayo ng problema sa mass air flow, air flow sensor. Snug it. Oh, that's one. Next is the cabin air filter. Next is the cabin filter behind this glove box. So, may mga ears siya dito. Pull the ears down. Once you got that down, merong ears din dito sa kabila. Take that off. And this is how much dirt is in there. Mga kapatid. The recommendations nito ay 15,000 miles. So, here's our new cabin filter or AC filter kung anong gusto nang tawagin or ang terms nang gusto nyo let's throw that away let's put the new one kaya nang kaya nyong gawin to and for one of the ears again tapos dito ko siya dito ko siya lalagay dun sa may sa loob merong up position so hindi nyo pwedeng ma-place ng upwards or downwards then you put that in wait for the tab to click okay the next one is this this is the two ears that you have to pry in so kung hindi nyo kaya yun pry nyo itong side dito that's it